Welcome! Today we're going to talk capes. Capes are usually, when we think of capes, we think of them for fall, but they're all over for spring, and I'm going to show you some photos to start with. I'm going to show you six different looks, and then I'm going to show you three different ways, pattern fabric combinations. They're all easy, they're all fun, and I, I hope you'll like them. They're I love them all, so let's get started. So first we're gonna show you capes. These are on the runway. We're gonna start with the runway and we're gonna see the different looks that have been presented. And you see some are really dramatic and some are, you know, probably, possibly not something we wear, but they're all really good. Asymmetric is really popular. Then the next one we see is pink, Oscar de la Renta, and you see extremely pricey. And um, the beauty is they're long but they don't have to be long. The next one we're gonna look at is a little bit layered. So I kind of, when I went to mine, I want you to think about all these things I'm saying. They're long, they're layered, different things. The next one we go to is by the row, again, very pricey, monochromatic. So I just love the different looks blended together. So that's, again, where I, kind of accumulate and then I start to create. So hang on just one second. Then we have a black and white. We just put up a new black and white fabric and the whole reason I put up this new black and white fabric was exactly for this reason, was because black and white is perfect for right now for spring and into the summer. And then this last one I'm gonna show you and that other one is they start to get short. That shorter cape I think is a little sportier and I think it's just a great look. A little more casual but still really great. So six ideas, six things that we did and they're long, they're short, they're layered, they're monochromatic. Then I started to combine all those things and the first one I did, I did it shorter because I wanted it more casual and I did it pattern number 75 which is Phillips cape and Phillips cape already has layers. It already has this outside layer and then it has a little underneath part and then I added a tank top to it so that I got the whole monochromatic different layer look. The fabric that I used here is 5194. It's a poly cotton blend. Just adorable, cute little look. You could do it with white jeans. You could do it with blue jeans. You could just really do it in what you see. It just works. It works on so many different levels. The buttons are removable. You can take them off. And actually you can layer all of this because there's three layers and it's just, I just love it. So then I, then I went into 320. And this fabric, this fabric is, is uh, one I made earlier on. It's pattern number 320, Bailey's. This is a wrap and it's got a little cowl to it. I didn't do the cowl, I did another top to it. But this would be great with our plaids. This is really easy. It's a short little cape, it's adorable. It's got that little side panel there. And it's just cute. And it can be worn, again, over anything. And you can make it out of really knits, wovens, Pattern number 320 is so versatile, I just wanted to show you that combination. And then what I have on, we saw it at the webcast last week, but I decided to actually wear it. Um, 4222 is the wrap that I put in Geo's Fit and Flare detachable cape and wrap. And so what I like about it is this is a gauze. It's a poly cotton gauze, very lightweight. Um, it's asymmetric, so you can put it on at an angle. And the other thing you can do, I'm gonna take this necklace off just cause it's easier and I don't have a mirror in front of me, so who knows what's going to happen. You all know how that works. But I'm gonna change it to where the opening is down the front. And you see that when you do that, you get just a completely different look as to when it's on the side. So keep in mind that capes are very versatile. They're perfect for so many events that we want to do, and they're really stylish right now. So the goal is to pick your cape, pick your fabric, Fabric number 5194, fabric 5218 is what I have on, but we've put up some beautiful plaids, solids that would make great capes. Pick your style, pick your fabric, and make a cape. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.